Hey buddies, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. Today we're looking at Micro Dojo, and I have zoomed in twice to see things in more detail. If you're watching this on Board Game Arena, you'll have things pre-set up already, and of course you will have already been signed if you're blue or green. So someone's going to go first, you can randomly decide that. Somebody else will take this influence marker, and crucially what that allows them to do is take an additional action. I'll tell you how that works in a second. So this is a game that takes about 20 minutes to play. The way it's going to work is you're looking to get the most victory points. There are various buildings that you can be scoring. Now again, these have been randomly assigned. There are more available in the box, so I've only put a few out here. Other influence things where you can be scoring up as well are available too. So what can you do? Well, firstly, you are gonna move in your token. So let's say I represent blue, and therefore obviously green will take this influence marker, and maybe I want to move these, one of these four meeples. So we have Samurai, Geisha, Ninja, and Sumo. So I can pick this up and move and take myself two rice. So I'll put that over to my side and I've got two rice. Hand limit or the amount of resources you can ever have of one type is seven. So ever more than that, you can have to discard down. Now what green can't do is move my character unless it spends the influence marker to remove Y1 and then move this one. So now it's green's turn. Let's say they move the Samurai and get two gold. So now they've got two gold and they're over the side. Now what do you wanna try and go for? Well, there's various different things down here. So maybe you want to be getting yourself three gold or two rice to get some of these buildings. I'll tell you how buildings work in a second, but the first to get seven victory points wins. So now say it's my turn, I'll show you what this one works. So obviously you've seen what resources look like. We only have gold and we only have rice. Sometimes you can get both to go in here. Sometimes you can build a building. Now I've got two rice at the minute I could buy something. So now it's my turn, but I cannot move white. So now I've got to move something different. So let's say I move the ninja, I move left one, and let's say I take another rice. Again, you can see individuals worth one, you can get groups of three. So let me move over here. Now I've got three rice, I can build either this Yatai building, or I can build myself a shrine. In future, you can use the action spaces to trigger what they do. Let's say I just build a shrine. So now I've built a shrine and I take three rice spent and they go back in the supply. Now it's their turn. So now green is gonna go over here and maybe also uh, take a coin and a rice. Okay, and now it's back to my turn. This time, let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna move red into the center. And again, I've triggered this option in this instance. So I have triggered, obviously, three different things in a row, and that'll score one objective. So the player who triggers this objective scores, obviously, three meeples being in a row. They are in a row, I will score one objective point. So this moves up here. And of course, that can be flipped over if you wish to show it's been scored. And now we're moving on to the next objective, which is if these are adjacent to each other, they're presently not. So maybe I didn't want to do that because now Green's turn is going to do this. Now, I triggered this. It cost an action to trigger an objective. I have one action spare. So let's show you how this works. I can, in this instance, I can gain myself or spend, sorry, three rice to gain myself another victory point. What else can I do? Well, sometimes you just have to pass because you can't trigger. You can actually trigger two, uh, two buildings. But in this case, obviously, I can't. And I can't trigger this because at the minute I don't have three rice. However, there's other things that you can trigger to get victory points. So now that ends my turn, and now it's Green's turn. Again, they're going to trigger this one. So they're going to go here, move it across. They've triggered this action with a single action ability. And now they score a point as well, so it's going to go on top. And already, obviously, we've completed 40% of the objectives. Whoever has the most rice. So now it's my turn. Again, I've got to pick something. Let's uh, pick uh, to go blue. I move up to get one rice. So now I'm currently winning on the rice objective and now it's their turn now in this instance green has to move off so they're going to pick uh, they could pick red i'll show you why they might want to or might not want to because they could get two coins but then on my turn i could of course move the sumo across to trigger this objective because i've got more rice so they probably don't want to and that's how the game is going to pan out so instead they might go i don't know down here to build a building they've got three coins let's just do that and then they spend a couple of coins because Whoever has the most buildings at the end, again, will score three victory points. Now, when you happen to go to the building spot, you can either build a building or you can lose a building. If you lose a building that you own, then you can gain a victory point. And the last game I played, I won 7-5 by just chipping away and destroying my buildings. And I happened to just have enough to cross the line and reach seven. Now, this is on Board Game Arena, as I mentioned. You can also find my Board Game Arena playlist. There's lots of videos on there too. This was in the Mass Games shorts as well. So check out the full video, of course, on YouTube. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Head through as well to YouTube for comments. That's the best place, like I said, it is shared elsewhere. 
Also check out the How to Set Up Player View playlist. This is in there as well. It's also in the Mass Games playlist, the Family playlist, the Two Player playlist. It's also in the Solo playlist because I do have a Solo playthrough available as well coming soon. And also make sure you check out various other stuff in the description on YouTube, such as heading through to Facebook, join the discussion over there. Head through to join and like and follow over on Instagram, over 3,000 posts, 3,900 followers. And aside from that, there's occasionally competitions via Linktree. They are time sensitive, so they do disappear. As to the review, these pieces are very fiddly, just trying to move them around. They do kind of a bit tricky to handle. I like the fact there's lots of different buildings options. I like the fact that you have other objectives you can play with. The fact it does play solo, it is a small, obviously, uh, option in terms of how much space it takes up on the game table. The fact that these threes and ones, it's quite difficult to tell now and again. I do have multiple pieces, so you can do it like this. You've got individual uh, tiles you can be placing out instead that you can be placing these pieces on too. I've got flat counters, I've got wooden counters. Obviously you can be using these flat pieces instead of these meeples as well. You can add these standing up too. This has been filmed in 4K and again there have been daily videos throughout the last five years. And there's also Patreon where of course you can support the channel too. Any other questions, there's of course a player aid, a sheet available too. Uh, there's no examples given in terms of illustrations, that is a, a minor note. I give this a 7.4 out of 10. Some people might think it's a foregone conclusion as towards the end as to how that occurs, but if you don't have that, then it's very difficult to trigger how on earth the game would be ending anyway. So lots of options, lots of engine building can go with, the fact that you're working for these resources. I think Sumo, the game could well be called because it does feel like you're pivoting around doing various different things. Any questions as always, do let me know, but for now, Back to the table.